How are you, you guys? Happy Friday. I'll wait till everybody jumps in here. I know we're having fun on this Friday. At least it's really nice weather where I'm at. That's all I can say, you know? Got some decent weather here. Hopefully you guys got some good weather going on as well where you're at. Got Grateful Panic in the house. Gino V. Andrew, Mark, Hallucisness is here. Jason Brown's here. What's happening, guys? Happy Friday. Orange Hat's here. What's up, buddy? Hopefully you guys are having fun. You're enjoying your Friday. Having some good times out there. Let's put a couple knives out here, huh? We can look at. Michael Morgan's here. David Iverson. Nebu Cloud. Jay Leprechaun's here. Paul Windmiller, Rodney Pearson. Members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Thank you guys so much. Yes, Nebu Cloud. DSKFS. Do something kind for someone. Form D Productions. Scott Benefield. What's happening? Happy Friday, everybody. You know, I, I owe you guys a live stream from Monday. Um had a just a weird deal what's up manny z what's going down gino v's here as well grateful panic of course if you saw in the title grateful panic has sent something in to zach and he's like man this is for you and i'm like no way so i don't know what it is got it over in the package here we're gonna open that up today What's up, James? James Straub's here, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. <sighs> Got to clean off my uh, my device here. Michael Geglioni, what's happening? Oh, Michael, you get a shout out. What's up, CK Kipasa? Killer Miller's here. What's up, buddy? David Iverson. Hopefully I got everybody so far. Happy Friday. Thanks for joining in. But like I was saying, I owe you guys a live stream from Monday. Um, had a little Easter dinner with some family. Something I ate, man. It didn't, it didn't agree. <laughs> so Monday wasn't a, a productive day. Let's just put it that way. What's up, Penny? How you doing, Penny? So I apologize. It wasn't anything I was going to be able to jump on and do a live on Monday. Um, so yeah, so we're here on Friday, making that up. You'll see us. Uh, you'll see us back here again. Well, I'll be back here on Sunday, of course, at noon. Feeling much better this week. Doing doing good. Having fun. Looking at knives. Looking at gear. Got some stool, cool stuff. Cool stuff coming up. What's up, Andrew? Eggs and ham, what's going on here? Yeah, so we got some cool knives on the table. Yeah, I know, totally. I'm, I'm glad too. Definitely glad. We got some stuff out here. We'll put a couple knives out here. Of course, these are 2021 releases, except for the 945. It came out in like November, December from Benchmade. So, yeah, doing good. I appreciate that. That's awesome. B for Baron, what's happening, buddy? Yeah, doing good. So I'm happy, but we're going to do this live. I got a couple things that we're going to throw out there today. It'll be pretty fun. But let's see here. First off, we want to do a little bit of appreciation for some of the other channels out there. I've got some swag sent my way recently. What's up, nice edc -er? Got some uh, swag that was sent my way from a couple good friends of the community here. Uh, you guys may have some, seen some of the stuff already, but we're going to take a look at it. I just want to give people some shout outs for stuff they've sent in. Uh, we got some stuff from Little Fit Devil, LFD. Shout out to her. We got uh, another one from Little Fit Devil here. Pretty cool stuff. 
If you haven't seen her channel, check it out. She's got she's very active on Instagram as well. Little fit double on Instagram. Uh, we got a couple things sent in from Tier One Gear and Review. A little holographic sticker and a little magnet. So that's pretty cool. So we got that stuff sent in. We got some stuff here. Let's see what else we got here. Ordering some food. Nice. You getting some tacos? Getting some tacos. Of course, we got some here from. Yeah, we got to get the weekend started right. We got a, a thing here from our guy Stasa twenty three and his knife therapy. What's up, John? Welcome, John. Happy Friday. Hope you're doing good. So we got a little thing from Stasa. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, we got our teal colored metal complex helmet. What's up, a therapeutic edge? How's it going? Oh, look at that info right there from Andrew. White Mountain Knives has some of the white oxbone finch holidays in stock. Man, and I'm on here live. Oh, well. Save one for me. <laughs> or not. It's fine. I, I don't, yeah. <laughs> it's on my list, though, for sure. And then, of course, as you guys know, this came in, but we got to see it again. We have to see it again. It, this is going to kick off the weekend right here. Big red. Hashtag. Grass skirt. <laughs> the grass skirt. Perfect. DSKFS. Do something kind for someone. He wrote that on there. Signed it for me. You can't go wrong with that. So, anyways. Some channel swag sent in. Want to share it with you guys. If you guys have some, you want to send it in. Get a hold of me, shoot it my way. I'm putting a big board together right now. I'm putting everybody's stickers on there because I want to share. And this one's kind of almost like a coin. So this, this may end up on my coin board. You'll see that review coming up probably this weekend. I know I was going to post this week, but Monday delayed a few things. So yeah, exactly. Exactly, David. But yeah, so shout out to Therapeutic Edge. Hope you're doing good, buddy. Happy Friday to you as well. What's up, Randy? How you doing, man? James Martinez, what's up, man? Oh, shout out to the notifications. Yeah, it's it's a surprise live stream. I uh, wasn't really planning it. I uh, had something sent into the channel. I owed you guys from Monday because I said I was going to go live on Monday, but had a little hiccup there. So we're doing it today. Well, that's good, Peter. All is well. Happy Friday. So anyways, uh, Mini Adamas, you guys have probably seen a whole bunch of love about this, but you can't go wrong. I know the full size Adamas is out as well. I have one of those sitting around. Of course, the 535-3. And if you guys, I mean, if you guys see my Instagram, I reposted this on my story today, but Tom Veff, Veff Serrations, he took one of these for a customer and he put four of his serrations on it down through here. And it just looks sick. I, I might have to do that with one of these because it looks pretty awesome. So, yeah. What's up, Mark Herrera? How you doing, buddy? Eggs is in the middle of ordering some food. Uh, is the Finch the Warren clip? Yeah, I think so. The holiday? Yeah. And I have the one, where'd it go? It was right over here. Did I move it? Oh, yeah, I have the one that Big Red so kindly gifted me. Pull this up right here. Got that beauty. But this is not the holiday. So... Cimarron. I, I was going to say Cinnamon, but Cinnamon, Cimarron. I do not have the Tycoon, I know. <laughs> oh, it's all good, John. It's all good, buddy. <laughs> I appreciate that, though. I appreciate that. But anyways, these, these Finch knives are so smooth, you guys. Of course, it has my favorite colors, the blue, 
The green is pretty awesome. Yeah, what's up, Justin Brown? Egg. What's that? AT1AU? What's up? We got a couple eggs in the house. Got some Friday eggs going on. Of course, we have the the full size Adamas going on. It's just, man, you guys, honestly, I know Peter, Therapeutic Edge, a couple of you guys, this is your guys' knife. It's fantastic. You guys love the ones that you got. And I have the minis and the full size and stuff. I carry the mini more often, but I've carried the full size at work. I love it. Yeah, you love yours too? Nice, right on. What's up, Rip City EDC? Hey, thanks, man. Same to you. Gorilla447. Oh, you got a couple finches too? Nice. Yeah, the Adamas is strong for sure. Heck yeah, John. Such good ones. And I have the black one too in the mini. I just had to show it off, but it's all fun. It's all good. Uh, but yeah, so let's see. What are you guys carrying today? Yeah, smash that like button. Heck yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Mini Adamas so smooth. Yeah, all the full size and the Mini Adamases came out of the box, brand new, smooth as anything, so solid. Andrew's got the Benchmade Super Freak. Nice. Paul's got the Evo Typhoon, Mini Adamas Form D. Yo, you got the full size Adamas yesterday, nice. John's got the Mini Adamas on the desk, nice. Nebby Clouds, Evo Tech, Shadow Ranger. Custom Benchmade Mini Crooked River for Egg. Got your Hogue Compound for David. Randy's got the G10 M4 Bug Out. B for Baron's got the Blue and Black K Bar Dozier. IB Freed, what's up? Got the 710 1401. It's a nice knife. EDC, the Swayback Jack and Leatherman Charge Tie. Nice. CK's got the Full Adamas, right on. Red Proper, nice penny. Monterey Bay Knives, Triple Threat. MOG, Slayback, and Field Trekker. Nice, Grateful Panic. Rip City's got the Mini Adamas. The GM Ace Grand. Nice. That's cool. Mr. GMVT, what up? Got the Auto Adamas. Yes, it's a scary one. It's good, though. It's nice. I like it. It's snappy. Uh, M4940. Nice, James. Got the CRKT21. Chris Reeve Knives, nice. ABKT Roper and Buffalo Scout, nice. For Michael. And Mark has the QSP Worker and Case Travel Lock. Gorilla 447 has the K390 Endura. Andrew's got the TRM Adam, nice. Anyone have the Gold Class Tengu? Oh, it's interesting you should ask about that, John. I might have one sitting right here. May have to show that off a little bit. Show it off just a smidge. QSP Gannett for Jason. Oh, nice. Your your gold class comes in on Monday. Nice egg. TRM Neutron 2 for Mr. G. Yeah, that's a nice one too. I got one of those. It's sweet. Red, white, and blue Deca. Nice, Manny. Spiderco Shaman z -Ware for Gino V. Nice. Rip City Seas Good Limited Freak with Natural G10 is pretty nice too. And LKG, what's up? Carrying the Spyderco Native 5 and LC200N. Nice. Okay. Here it is. That Tengu Flipper, man. I, I honestly, it's gorgeous. I mean, pictures, camera, doesn't do it justice. But I have to tell you guys, this is a beautiful knife. What's up, Addicted to Blades? That Refer Backspacer, Blue Sapphire PVD coated liners, Damascus Steel Bifrost. Beautiful. I like, I honestly like how they did the double shield. You know, blue shield on each side. The hardware is even is sapphire coated. Yeah. I mean, it's it's got that carbon fiber handle. I mean, Everything about this, 
I mean, it's a Jared Oser knife. You can see right there, the Jared Oser knives maker mark. Oh, you got the SHOT Show Mini Freak and the Odium today? Nice. Yeah, so this one right here, you guys, I mean, let me show you. I know I, I did it on my review, but I'll show you compared. Do I have it here? No, I put it, I put it back. I was doing some cleaning today. Anyways, I was going to show you that, but I guess not. We're just going to get things a little crooked there. Mini Adamus getting a little freaky over there. But anyways, you guys, these things are so smooth. I mean, even the regular Tengu, the 601 smooth. This is the 601 211. Make a Tengu XL. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's something that Jared does on his normal stuff, but you can see the pattern there. I love that grind, man. This thing is so sharp. But anyways, it's kind of cool because the even the flipper has the, I mean, obviously it's all the damage steel pattern, but it's just those attention to details. So yeah, it, it's, it's very snappy. So it's on those uh, thrust bearings. So it rides pretty, pretty darn smooth. Very chilly, very frosty. But you know me, I'm a fan of the blue, so... I mean, everything together kind of just makes it the full package for me. And as a gold class, I'll tell you what. Yeah, let me grab some paper. Um, fairly reasonably priced for a gold class. I mean, you guys probably know that gold class wise, but pretty reasonably priced. So what's up, Bell's Blades? Yeah, let me grab. I got some. I got a post-it note here. That'll work, I guess. Oh, next month. Right on, right on. Yeah, heck yeah. Hey, there's Bell's Blades, man. Throwing up some new uh, some new icons there for the members. So members of Zach's Day of the Carry Crew, you got some new icons there for any of your messages. Even on, like, if you guys are leaving uh, messages on my videos, comments on my videos, if you're a member of Zach's Day of the Carry Crew, you can use those icons as well, those emojis. So, But yeah, so here's here's this one as a paper test. Hopefully we can show it on camera for you pretty well. So, doing pretty good. And, you know, even as you get towards the blade, because of the way it's it's ground, it's just... Whoosh. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, that one right there, my logo's new. The green one's new. The red one's new. Those are all new, new emojis on there. So, pretty darn slicey. I mean, it gets, you know, even at the back of the blade... You know, you can get, see how fine curls we can go. Those are some pretty good curls. Yeah. So anyways, it does its job really good. So highly recommended. It's a beautiful, beautiful knife. And obviously it's going to be one that you can buy even later this year. So, you know, if you can save up for it for a couple months, you know, you don't have to worry about it being, you know, gone in a month or something or less because, it's the limited unlimited for the year. So kind of like they did with the bug out and stuff. That's pretty nice. So, and a lot of dealers already have their stock in them. I saw people, you know, even you guys have ordered some already. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry, sorry. I'm showing it off. I know. But yeah, I, I, I had to get one of these for the collection. You know, it goes with the other gold classes I have and it's a, it's a beautiful piece. I carried it on uh, Thursday, so it was good. Showed it off with my, my Hank I got. Shout out to the Hank supplier. But it's kind of a bandana. It's pretty large for a Hank, but you could fold it up and use it as a, as a Hank if you want. But it's a, like a full-size bandana, so. So anyways, what's up, Nav Sergeant? Yeah, we're just doing a little live here. We got something to unbox that Grateful Panic sent in. So we're just doing that, but... Yeah, these are pretty sweet. Pretty sweet little bandanas. Bandana. -i. What's up, Charles? How's it going? One Minute Knife Review. What's up, what's up? Get some more people in here. Not a normal day for me to be going live and... I know it's Friday and it's probably beautiful weather. A lot of a lot of places you guys are at. So, 
Yeah, you could cut it up and get four Hanks out of one. Yeah, for sure. Which might not be a bad idea. What's up, Jesse B? Aloha Friday Live. Yeah, buddy. Hood Tactical, what's happening? Very, very awesome. Uh, let's see. Charles says, just letting you know, Zach, the Mini Adamas came in today. I love it. It's amazing. That's fantastic. I, I don't hear, I have not received, and you guys may have heard, but everywhere I've looked, even people that are like Spiderco fans and stuff, that'd be great. Well, thanks, Charles. That's nice. I mean, the Mini and the full size have just been amazing knives. I mean, we love Shane. We love what he does. Shane Cyber, you know, his designs. And Benchmade just nailed it with these. So, you know, stepping up with the crew wear. All right, Peter, take care, buddy. Thanks for being here. Have a great weekend, man. We'll chat with you in a couple days or probably tomorrow or tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, okay, so let's see here. So what was I carrying today? So let's see. We talked about what you guys are carrying. Yeah, it's amazing what they did with it, Charles. Uh, I'm super happy. Even the full-size one, you know, so much easier to grip for me. What's up, Crispy EDC? Um, yeah, right, Bells? Yeah, hey, you know, you got to keep it keep it legit on there, you know. There's some good people out there making good knives. You know, I got Spyderco knives here. I got probably half a dozen of them, so. But yeah, what's up, Winchester? It's going down. I'll tell, I'll tell you what, it's totally not brainwashing because they legit nailed it big time on that one. So I'm happy. I'm super happy with it. I know a lot of other people have been. I haven't heard anybody else getting the, you know, the craziness going. So even people that were a little hesitant on the crew wear, wanted to test it a whole bunch, you know, they've been loving it. So that's all you can do. That's all you can do, you know, put a product out. It gets, gets, you know, passed around to everybody. Everybody checks it out. You know, it, you know, the only people that wouldn't like it is somebody that likes to carry like, uh, maybe a bug out or a proper and doesn't like carrying bigger knives than that. It's the only reason they probably wouldn't like it. So, cause it's, you know, it's ready to be used. It's a literally a pocket tank. It's an EDC tank. It's, it's built to deploy. <laughs> All right, so what I was carrying today, what's up, Paper Tiger? I was carrying two knives, and you'll probably see my Instagram post after this because I was busy today. I had to go stop by, you know, the mothership, um, talk to my people over there, check in, see how things are going. Everybody's doing good over there. They're busy, so that's good. They just elevated all of our areas out here in the Portland metro area to be higher risk now for you know, regulation. So they've locked down a bunch of stuff, but I was carrying the black with that beautiful tungsten coated blade and crew wear mini Adamas. So I was carrying that one today. And also I broke this one back out because it just seemed like the perfect pair, but it's here. The G10 20 CB. 940BK-2002. You see some use on it. Getting some good use out of this one. Blade's holding up good. I love that one. It's one of my favorites. And I, like I said, you guys, I was going to switch that pocket clip, but it's been rocking strong. So I've been loving it with that split arrow. Yeah, it's good stuff. Uh, Charles says, my favorite Spyderco is a Native 5. Nonetheless, he domes the in my pocket. Definitely a good knife to keep on for your deployment. Yeah, totally, totally. Most definitely. Yeah, Andrew, I love that 940. So this to me was the perfect pair. I mean, they're almost the same size uh, lengthwise and blade wise, but you can see obviously they're going to be a little bit different when it comes to the thickness. But, you know, you're getting uh, kind of like nested liners inside the G10 there. And then you're getting full stainless steel liners out of this one. So you can do your, your EDC cuts. And then, you know, if you need to like open up a tire to see what's inside, you got your knife right there for it. Yeah, James, I, I've been liking it. 
I've been liking it. Then they got that mini split arrow on the 945. That's been great. <laughs> this this is like, this is the perfect knife. Now, uh, you guys have heard me. I love the mini bug out. I've already done some mods on the, on the mini bug outs. But this 945, this mini Osborne, man, with that clip, you can throw it in gym shorts, whatever. Boxers, whatever's got a pocket, even if it's a small one. So this, this gets carried quite a bit. But you guys know that. You know me. What's up, Zenny? What's going down? A good pair. All right. So let's see here. We should probably get around to like a little bit of an unboxing here. Before we do anything else. That'd be good. That'd be fair. Unless you guys have any questions of what's out there. Or anything you guys want to see that's new and improved. And I have a surprise too. But that's going to come up for, I think, I think we'll do a giveaway today. Just a little bit of something today. Just kind of to wet the palette for Sunday. We'll do a little bit of a uh, giveaway. What's up, G-Man W? What's going down? <laughs> <laughs> they do have a front pocket of your boxers. Yeah, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I understand. <laughs> carry it. Oh, yeah, that's a good place to carry it, too. In the Speedos. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, you pre-ordered the milled aluminum bug out? Okay, that's the Dash 4. I'll tell you what, guys, just real quick on that, that bug out that's coming up with the aluminum handles. I mean, I like I like the Dash 3. Don't get me wrong. I like that bug out, the Dash 3. This carbon fiber one right here. What's up, Todd? But I'll tell you what. I've already, I've already unboxed that aluminum one. Thanks to Benchmade. Shout out to Benchmade for giving me a little early access on that. But that one, wait for that one. I mean, if you want a carbon fiber one, grab one. But, man, that aluminum one, crazy. Oh, yeah, Knife Sergeant's got a giveaway coming up tomorrow. So visit his channel if you haven't checked it out yet. It's fantastic. The feel of it, too, for me, perfect on that aluminum milled handled bug out. Fantastic. I was kind of bummed that it's coming out, like, at the end of the, you know, End of the end of the releases, but I was like, I, I got it. I see what they're doing. I got it. I understand. Needs to be done that way. I'll be patient. I'll relax. I'll be patient. Um, let's see here. You'd only get the carbon fiber one. Okay, cool. Uh, Charles said, aside from the 940 and Mini Domus, what are your favorite two folders in the three and a half to four inch? blade realm his are the zt0620 and the cold steel raha 3 well i'll tell you what uh the super freak 560 bk-1 that would be one of them that one's a fabulous carry i love that one and three and a half to four inch blade i haven't checked out any cold steel yet but Here's here's a here's a surprise. You might see some cold steel Sunday. That's just a little tease. Uh somebody's taking care of that for me. And you know, I don't know, let's see a bigger one. I I really like hmm a bigger bladed one that I like and carry all the time. See, that's hard because that full size of Domus is like where it's at. But the Super Freak is probably my number one choice. Uh, do I have a Ruckus 610? No, I do not. I do not have a Ruckus. No, nope. that's a good one though. Green 90, the Green 945 going to be released probably in the next like month and a half, two months. Month and a half, two months is kind of what the, the Benchmade website shows on there. So if you go to Benchmade.com, you can see what's new um, that's listed on there. And they kind of give a timeline on there. And they've changed it once, but the 
it's normal. You know, it's production. So you, they got to make sure for all of us, for our sanity as well, they got to make sure that the supply is ready when they drop it. <laughs> yeah, smash that like button. Heck yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, the Super Freak's a good one. It's got the, the red G10. Unfortunately, it is in my other room. I apologize for that. Um, Spartan for the four and a half inch blade for you. Okay, okay. Code four, yeah. Okay. So maybe even sooner. So maybe this just in. This just in. Um, the mini, not the mini. Yeah, the mini Osborne, the 945 in green aluminum. That may come out at the beginning of May. So maybe like three weeks. That's that's hot off the press news. You can't get that anywhere else. So I'm just saying. <laughs> Thank you to my inside scooper. My hot my hotline. My red phone. My red phone. My hotline. Uh, but yeah, so that's good stuff. So yeah, beginning of May. That'll be awesome. So <clears throat> I got to get a drink of water after that. What's up, Donkey Dave? 1 a.m. in Ireland? Well, thanks for joining, man. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff, man. That's good stuff. I appreciate the, the red phone being available. I have the ringer on silent, so I just pick that up, get that inside info. I'm going to pass it on to you guys. Yeah, gives you time to save up or, or sell something. Be like, I want to buy that. And that one's going to be a hot one, man. It's It's literally, it's literally this one. But it's going to be the original package of the 940. So it's going to be the green aluminum scales, all that good stuff. So, yeah, Gino B, I want to keep you guys up to date, keep you guys informed. Um, yeah, it was, Michael. It was a string on the Benchmade phone. Yeah. <laughs> they just, you know, they come over from the shop floor and they tell me. No, I'm just kidding. Since so many of you guys think I work there. I don't. I don't work there as many times as you think. They do have employees named Zach that work there, but it's not me. I'll just put that out there. But Yeah, you're welcome, Todd. Um, yeah, so let's see. Mini 940 and carbon fiber. That would be a sweet one. That might come out later this year. I don't know. There's lots of things you could do with that. You know what I mean? So let's see here. We have... I sound like Paul Walker. Is this security dude at Benchmade? No. That guy's a good dude though. I like I like their security guy. He's good people. I'll just say that. He's a good dude. Uh everybody there's been great. So um what was I gonna what was I gonna show you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me break this out. I know you guys saw this the other day, but I want to show you really quick and then we're gonna open up this package from uh, Grateful Panic. But I got a little gift pack sent to me. Oh, thanks, Debbie Cloud. <laughs> you guys are great, man. You guys are fantastic. It's what makes the community awesome, man, is everybody here. I'm trying to open it up and not, like, tear the whole package open, but I might have to. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I would have definitely had to. Now, you guys saw my giveaway, hopefully, last week. Oh, Brian Ruppel, what's up, buddy? Welcome. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Oh, you just got yours? Oh, nice. You got your Mini Adamas. Nice. Yeah, DSKFS. What's up, M? What's going on? Um, Let's see here. <laughs> the Paul Walker thing, that's funny. So I wanted to show you something. So this is a knife that I carry quite often. And you guys saw those, those, um, the new product from Knife Pivot Lube, which is the micro swabs. And I'm going to try to show you like what they look like when they're clean. And it's, it's works so much better. Um, let me show you. This is a solid. Oh, Brian. Thanks, buddy. Hey guys, let's give a little shout out. Show a little love for Brian. Thank you for the super chat so much. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. 
that goes to support these the the channel and these giveaways, man. But here's the comparison. Now this is a detail cotton swab. So this isn't even the big puffy ones. This is more of a detailed one that you can order. You can see how it's kind of pointed. Um, so you can see even the difference on those right there, how easy it's going to be. Because if you try to get, if you look at this, if you try to clean in there, you're stopped. You're stopped a little bit in. Oh, Mikey, what's up, buddy? Welcome back, Mikey. Good to see you, man. Let's give a little shout out to Mikey. Show some love for Mikey. Thanks for the super chat, my friend. Yeah, it's been a while, man. Yeah, hey, man, I just want to check on you. There's a lot of people concerned. We're missing Mikey, and so we want to check and see how you're doing. So thank you so much, man. That's great. But these micro swabs, these are fantastic. So let's say you just want to do a quick cleanup. You know, you look inside your knife. You're like, oh, man, there's some pocket lint and stuff in there. I'm just going to put this inside, and we're just going to roll it around a little bit. We're gonna go through, you can get on both sides of the blade without even opening up, if you can see. You get on both sides of the blade, just clean everything up inside there. We're gonna get that going. Now, look at how much dirt it's picked up just from that. And now we're gonna open it up a little bit. We're gonna clean in on this side, just get some of that pocket lint off, clean on the liners a little bit, up by your axis lock. And you can see even some of that stuff inside right there, some of that pocket lint and fuzz, that stuff just comes right out. So, and then it all collects on here. So you can see how much stuff that picked up. And now your knife's clean, it's good to go. It's a great little product from Knife Pivot Lube. I think a pack of 12 of them is like $4.99. There's no incentive, I don't sell them. Nothing like that. They gave some away for my that giveaway I did with them last week. It's pretty fantastic. So, yeah, it gets that stuff out real good. And then, if, if, of course, if you need to, drop a little lube back in there. You're good to go. But it doesn't pick up much of the lube at all. Yeah, Mark, I haven't heard from Mark at all. Not in a little while. Yeah, isn't Lint a Q-tip? With no, no stick attached? It is. Yeah, you just have to po poke it out of there. <laughs> oh, that's good, Mikey. Just busy with life, doing stuff around the house, getting college graduation straight, registering to transfer. Well, I appreciate you joining in, man. I appreciate you chatting with me the other day. It's great to see that you're doing good. I know a lot of us. I mean, Jason can attest to it, too. A lot of these guys. Everybody's looking at it. I'm sure you could clean your ears with it, but it's probably not recommended. But you could probably you could probably definitely do that. That might be one option. You clean your ears with that little micro swab. You know, if you got like small ear lubes or something, or ear tubes. <laughs> not ear lubes, ear tubes. You can definitely clean your ear with it. Oh, you got a Benchmade Cash Ball? Nice. Cosba. All black half serrations. Nice. What's up, Yoshi Genesis? Yeah, I wouldn't suggest it either. Yeah, that tank, tank is beautiful. Definitely, for sure. Just get another quick look at it. And then now we're going to get the official channel unboxing knife. Which seems so fitting for today. Because it's the Tengu tool from Benchmade. I love it. little cap lifter. A little friction folder. It's a sharp one, 20 CV. Uh, what I carried today, uh, just so you guys can see, I carried this one, this 940. Of course, you guys know I love this one. Hashtag, let's make a let's make a production version, all blacked out. Maybe we'll call it like the. Maybe we'll do like maybe we can. Hey, you know what? If if uh, if we if we talk to Benchmade, and we black this one out, maybe we could call it the. Uh, the 940BK-Z, right? For like the Zach edition. That'd be kind of sweet. You know, have a little meaning to it. Yeah, 940 in the custom shop. That's still on there. Definitely. What's up, Paul? How you doing? Oh, Mikey says the carbon fiber elite bug out in the mini Crooked River is supposed to be home Monday from service. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, exactly. 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. And basically, this is a package sent in. Oh, Manny Z. Thanks, man. Let's give a little love to Manny Z. Thank you, Manny, so much. Show a little love for Manny. Thanks for the support. Thanks for continuing to be here, hanging out. Yeah, I hear you, Rip City. That'd be cool, too. Yeah, definitely. Oh, man. That's rough, man. Could test once a week. Ugh. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, too. That's no, that's no good. That's crazy. Um, but, yeah, I want to read something real quick. And this is a letter that came with it. Uh, Grateful Panic sent this to me. Grateful Panic Knife Reviews. If you haven't checked out his channel, do so. Got some cool content on there as well. But he sent me this letter. I want to read it. So it says... It's a short one, so, you know, you don't have to worry about getting coffee or anything. Uh, it says, Dear Zach Man, thank you for all that you do for this awesome community. I was browsing the internet, and when I saw this, I knew immediately that you must have it. It embodies the zen of Zach and also puts a little dead in your life. Enjoy and keep on being groovy. Your friend, Grateful Panic. P.S. Hashtag EDC your ass off. There you go. So that's an awesome, awesome thing, man. Thanks for that note, man. That's so awesome. When I got that, I was like, oh, I, it's hard. You know, I, as you guys know, I enjoy giveaways. I enjoy the community. Um, I enjoy giving back, helping people out. So it's just, it's just one of those things that when I get something, it's like, it means so much to me, you guys. Like, it's pretty crazy. So, oh, you got the coffee? Okay. So Grateful Panic, thank you so much. I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna see, I'm gonna put it up to the light, okay. There we go. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good GPA, totally. So we got, oh, hold on. I was trying to cut through both sides. Got another package in here? Uh-oh. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh. Good thing I didn't cut through too much. Oh man, okay. Put a little puts a little dead in my life. So if you know Grateful Panic, if you've seen his channel, you kind of know what's up. I'm gonna be careful with the tape here. I'll just kind of slowly cut this open. Oh Jason, thanks, man. Let's give a little love, show a little love to Jason. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for that. I appreciate that greatly. Oh, thanks, John. Yeah, it's so awesome, man. Oh, that's how you found my page? Nice, Rip City. Cool. What's up, Blade Ogre? You're guessing what it is? Yeah, I have no idea. I just want to be careful. I don't want to cut what's inside, you know? I should probably just tear it open at this point, but... <laughs> I don't want to get myself either. <laughs> that little blade sharp. All right, so let me put this away. Let me fold it up. Safety first. Now we got the safety side out. We can get our Friday going. Do something kind for someone. Heck yeah. Oh, there we go. I'm just going to get all crazy with the camera. Hold on a second. <laughs> all right, let's readjust for a second. Getting all crazy with this. Definitely packaged well. You see new stickers. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, Mike, you got to get a hold of me, man. I got some new stickers for sure. Put that wrapper away a little bit. We got the new holographic DSKFS sticker. Heck yeah. Okay, let me unfold this. Looks like a pennant or a flag or something. Yeah, exactly. 
Oh, man. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, do I have it inside out? I think I have it reversed. <laughs> okay, there we go. There it is. So it's like a big flag. I'm going to have to hang this up. Let me get it folded up here so I can show it on camera. I might have to pull the camera up a little bit. This is awesome, man. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, let me see if I can get this on here. <laughs> Look at that. That's terrific, man. I can't get the whole thing on there. <laughs> man, that's terrific, dude. That's so awesome. I'm going to put that out. I'm going to put it on the patio. I'm going to share that. I'll put a post up too. Be kind, please. <laughs> It's got a it's got a really cool pattern to it too. Oh man, thank you so much, Grateful Panic. That's awesome. That's terrific, man. That's great. All right, I'm gonna I'll put a post up when I'm done here with the live. We'll check that out. You guys can see the whole thing. I didn't know it was gonna I, I would have set up my bigger tripod if I knew it was gonna be that big. That's so great, man. That's super kind of you, man. I appreciate you sending that to me. Very thoughtful, very kind. I know where I'm going to hang it now. I'm going to hang... I got a spot for it on my wall. <laughs> I should put it on my flagpole outside. Swap it out. <laughs> yeah, it has the 1960s lettering. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What's up, Joseph? How are you, man? Yeah, that's pretty sweet, dude. <laughs> Kind of groovy. A little 70s groove. 60s, 70s groove. That's terrific. <laughs> What's up, James? How are you? Let your freak flag fly. Yeah, most definitely. I'll fly my freak flag. I'll fall. I'm going to go put that up outside. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, happy Friday for sure, man. What's up, Chicago 23? It's the weekend. Yeah, definitely. For sure. So anybody new that just jumped in, uh, what are you carrying today? A little Jim, Jimi Hendrix throwback. Uh, I think I saw something also. Yeah, Mikey, the DSKFS patches. So here's what I found out. So I got that email here like two weeks ago that said, hey, I'm sorry to have to write this to you. This hasn't happened to us before. Um, basically, FedEx delivered the box to the the patch company, and the patches were gone. My order was gone. Now, what I didn't realize was is I thought it was just a total empty box. What's up, Louie? Got the Protec Malibu. Paul's got the Medford Proxima. Nice. Oh, you had the album where he said that? That's cool. Benchmade Super Freak. Benchmade Mini Reflex. Nice. Got the Smock UTX-85 and Protec Malibu. Nice. Spidey Chef from Knife Joy. Olight Baton 3. Premium Blue. Yeah, nice. Make a cape out of it. Call you Super Groovy Man. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. TRM Neutron 2. CGRB Rampart Copper. Nice. Benchmade Striker. Right on. Yeah, we did an early pocket check today, so I apologize for that. CF Elite Bug Out Combo Edge. Nice, John. So that's one of the things where um, when I talk to him, pair of three for Winchester, you know, Jimbo two for John Evans. Um, I, di I, I didn't understand. I thought it was like just my, my order was in there. Well, I guess there was like a dozen or more orders in there. And when the box got damaged, like three or four of the orders got basically popped out. And so that's why mine was missing. So 
I checked in with him yesterday. I said, hey, what's the update? He said, hey, the, it's already been reordered. It's on rush. So hopefully a week, two at the most. And I'm like, okay, because my, my giveaways are hurting. Excuse me. I had to take a drink. I said, my giveaways are hurting because, you know, make the mini Adama Z happen. Yeah, dude. Yeah, let's do a black blade with blue, blue G10 handles and black hardware and thumb studs. We can make the mini Adamas dash Z. That'd be sweet. I'm gonna have to pitch these to Benchmade. Give them a couple ideas for it. Be like, hey, you know, people are down with that. Uh, oh, you're getting Lightning Anno on your Medford Proxima? Nice. Tom's got the Kershaw Tension. Todd Porter's got the Leak? Nice. Oh, thanks, one minute. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those things. It's just a bummer. I'm like, man, my giveaways. You know, I got my swag packs that I put out. I already got the Zach stuff patch in there. Some stickers and stuff. And if you notice, this one's from the other one. So pay, pay attention on Sunday because this one hasn't been claimed yet. But anyways, yeah, what's up, Poncho? Hey, what's up, buddy? Poncho151, another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Louis got the Auto Adamas and CPM Crew Wear. It's a fabulous knife. Blue-black on the Adamas would be awesome. Yeah, I think that'd be sweet. Do you have like a multi-channel sticker pack you'd be willing to send me? Want some more stickers? <laughs> yeah, man, I'll, I'll send me a message, Mikey. Well, I'll give you I'll get you some updated stickers. Yeah, we'll we'll get you something out there. I know Mikey, you you've done a lot for me, so I appreciate that. Yeah, you can't go wrong with the swag pack. But so anyway, so that's kind of the story of the patches. I'm super bummed. Hopefully you guys, did I show you guys a Oh, I don't think I showed you guys. Did I? I uh, maybe I did on one of the lives. I showed you a picture of what the um what's it called what i showed you what the dskfs patch look like it's pretty sweet i'll just tell you it's black with blue lettering it looks pretty awesome oh that's cool don yeah oh mikey for the stickers oh thanks mikey let's give a little more love to mikey thanks so much man um oh you're going to pick up your food all right you got to share what you got, man. Yeah, money is a thing for sure, Brian. You know, the nice part is, honestly, on this one, it's something you can save up for. You know, it's it's one that you can save up for over the next, you know, few months, whatever, six months. You know, they'll have this till the end of the year. Um, and then it's gone. But it's so smooth. It's so awesome. All right, donkey, get some rest, man, for sure. We'll be doing a giveaway here in just a few minutes. But it's an amazing knife. So if you do get a chance to pick one up or whatnot, it's pretty awesome. So the only thing I would ever do, and this is probably, I don't know about on the gold class one because, you know, those scales are so gorgeous. But even on the regular one, like if they put a pocket clip, like a mini bug out clip on there. Let me show you. Hold on. I think I, I, think I have a clip over here. Hold on. Let me get my little toolkit out. Oh, nice, Louie. Oh, right on. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's always fun to share your collection stuff. So let's see here. So if you took like a mini... Oh, how did those get all out of whack? There we go. I got to snap it back up so it doesn't fall out. Gold class anthem. Oh, that'd be trick. That'd be super slick. So you get like a mini deep carry pocket clip. I had I took one of these off one of my other bug outs, so I had it laying around in my little toolkit. But if they put one on like you know, I'm right-handed, so they're going to you know, you're going to put it on this side for a right-handed person. But even if it you know, covered a little bit of that or whatnot, but even if it was down a little bit from there and you put a pocket clip on that, that'd be slick, man. Carry that. And I know that's not how he does his knives, you know, but they might be able to talk him into one of them. 
Hey, hey, what's up, Tim? From Australia? Oh, you got your mini Adamas the other day. Oh, yeah, it's your new favorite. Yeah, these these knives, these mini Adamas are fantastic. They're fantastic. Just such a, a great knife. So sturdy, so smooth. But yeah, so anyway, so that would be my only thing. It'd be kind of cool. I did see somebody that did mod theirs and put one on the regular. Oh, it's right here. I had it sitting in the pouch. The regular Tengu. Right there. So if you could imagine putting a clip right there on that one. That would look terrific. You know? Well, mini pocket clip. It'd be sweet. So anyways, yeah. That's great. Oh, like an exclusive clip, like in tie or something? Yeah, on the gold class, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I know in the past they've done some like coated ones, PVD coatings and stuff. I know like even on this one, um, the coating's a little bit different on this one. You can tell the coating on it. So it's kind of cool. Kind of cool what they do on that stuff. So yeah, so maybe we should look at doing a giveaway tonight, huh? Poncho says, got the full-size Adamas coming tomorrow and carried the original D2 Adamas today, just for old time's sake. Yeah, Damascus pocket clip, wouldn't that be sweet? That'd be terrific. Not as groovy and terrific as the flag I just got from Grateful Panic. <laughs> Thanks again, man. That was awesome. So, so very cool. And I'm going to literally go out to my patio and take a picture of that and post that up, so... Yeah, they're great knives, Mikey. They're totally great knives. And and anybody that's like on the fence about it, a mini Adamus or a full size, just go get hands on with it. That's all I can say. Cause they're they're you know, you'll get hands on with it and you'll be like, Oh, it's the mini. And you're like, Oh, actually it's like a regular size EDC. Um, so it's kind of really cool that they shrunk that down from the full size. So but yeah, so let's just do a little bit. We're going to wet the palette a little bit. Um, let's see. Brian Jones says, do people use the gold class knives or more? So carry on special occasions, keep for the collection. That depends on every everybody individual. Um, I have some that I have, some gold class ones that I have and I don't carry. And then I have some that I do have and I carry. Like I carry my bug out. I carry my Crooked River. Gold class, my gold class bug out. Um, I've carried this one now twice in the last week, this Tengu. Um, you know, use it to cut things at work, all that. I mean, it's not, you're not going to damage it. You know, it's carbon fiber and Damascus steel, so, or Damascus steel, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's a bird. It's a VW bus. It's super groovy, man. <laughs> That's awesome. The mini clip on the mini Adamas. Yeah, you could go that route. You know, they'll fit. They'll fit on there. That's what it'll look like. You know, holes are pretty well lined up like that. So you could put a mini clip on there. I just don't know. You know, it depends on what you're wearing as to how it'll how it'll go. Killer Miller says no safe queen. See, that's that's how you do it. I have a few that I don't carry, um, but the majority of my knives I carry. So, um, Jay Perisco says anyone grab the mini Tempest. Oh, clam packs in your neighborhood, huh? Oh, that's a bummer, Winchester. Yeah, that's a hard part. You know, I would say this. If you end up like wanting to get one, then grab one and, you know, go all out and just get a mini, you know, buy it from a place that takes returns just in case, but start with the mini, unless you're a big knife kind of guy, like a therapeutic edge, he's a big knife kind of guy. So from the get go, like I sent, I sent him, you know, the mini so he could check it out, but overall, you know, he knew from the get-go that he's going to be a full-size Adamas guy, and that's what he loves, you know. So he got one of those, 
and he's got the mini to compare it to now and he's like yeah this is this is great so yeah so i'm just getting a couple things out here because i had that that swag pack on the side but it has a few extra things that i'm going to save for sunday we're going to give that one away separate so mikey what are you carrying in your pocket <laughs> People are asking Mikey, they're like, what up, Mikey? Everybody's so excited to see Mikey. Uh, Steve Jacobs says, I got the black DLC with the gold marbled handle and the damn steel blade. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's beautiful. Uh, Paul says, my Medford Stealth is a safe queen because it's rare, but I carry it anyways. There you go. And that's the thing. Yeah, go, a clamshell gold class. Um, tell them at the next board meeting. Yeah. I do not have any Microtechs. I used to have one that I picked up at Blade Show West. It was the exclusive for that one. Um, however, um, I traded that one a year ago. year, year and a half ago. About a year and a half ago. Oh, you got to wait like five months? Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, nice. Okay. Don C says only ones with sentimental value are baby. Exactly. That's that's kind of how I feel. Like I said, I do have a couple gold classes that I keep off to the side, but you know that's that's literally just for collection. You know, I I would say ninety eight, ninety nine percent of my collection of knives are ones I carry every day. And I obviously rotate them, and then I have to carry at least two or three knives a day because some of them I get in for review, and I want to be able to tell you the good and bad about it, you know? I want to be like, hey, this is great, or, you know, like like the, uh, the oh, we can't call it, uh, we can't call it SOG anymore, Studies and Observation Group, the XR they have, I think. I think it's XR. The uh, That one's great, but that goofy pocket clip, man, it gets me every time. So, oh, really? Okay. Like the mini Adamas? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You carry five knives a day? That's wild, man. I've had so many of those, like, you know, with me, but in like a knife bag or something because I may be going somewhere and, you know, sharing knives with people or showing them off or whatever, something like that. So, yeah, so we're going to get a couple things. Now, I will say this. Uh, we still get some support from for a discount for you guys from Southern Edge Knife Works. So if you go to Southern Edge Knife Works and use the code ZACH15, Z-A-C-H-1-5, you'll get 15% off your order, and you'll get flat rate $5 shipping in the U.S. And then I think they're still doing the flat rate uh, international shipping as well. So that's a pretty good deal overall. So... Yeah, so we'll do that. Um, let's see here. What can I throw in? We're going to go ahead and put some put a little swag pack together as part of this giveaway. You're going to get the Zach Stuff patch, the PVD. Or PVD. Oh, it's been a long week. <laughs> a PVD patch? No, it won't be a PVD patch. Um, but how about a P PVC patch? So it's got the Velcro on the back. It's flexible. It's got the rubber PVC style patch. We're going to also do the uh, the do something kind for someone sticker in holographic one. So you're going to get that as well. What's up, George French? And then remember, Zach's Daily Carry Crew, what's happening? Uh, we're gonna, you're going to get a, a stock version of it, the DSKFS with like the gradient um, teal to green with the little easy peel. Uh, you're going to get a Zach Stuff sticker right here. And let's see, what else can we throw in there? How about, this is like a limited edition one, the blue and white Zach Stuff. So we'll throw one of the, those in there as well. And then we need to get, uh, we'll do a, a big full-size one too. We'll throw in a big Zach Stuff sticker. That's one of the big ones. I love those. Pretty terrific. So you got a large one and a small one. You put one on the on the knife collection and one on the on the cup or something. 
on your water bottle. How about a TPK patch? You know, that would be a good seller, I'm sure. <laughs> a good seller faux show. Um, yeah, so let's see. What else can we throw out there? How about we'll also include a uh, Southern Edge Knife Works sticker. They've been cool about supporting, you know, several channels in the community, providing discounts just for you guys. I don't get a kickback for anything. When you use my code, the discount goes all to you guys. So that's what I really like about it. So it's not like it's, you know, I'm benefiting from it. The only thing that they would do in the past is uh, they'd send out a knife or something and be like, hey, review it, check it out. And when you're done, give it away. So literally even that stuff goes right to you guys. So that's pretty cool stuff. So, um, let's see here. The orange and white one was cool. Yeah. I don't even think, I think those are all gone. I don't think I have any more of those. I might have to order another set of those because the orange and white, uh, Zach stuff patch like this was pretty cool. Um, yeah. Malibu button. I don't know. I have, you know, I've only been able to handle a Malibu and check it out. Um, I haven't even been able to get one to do a review on, so. Maybe somebody that has a Malibu can uh, kick in on that. But sometimes those button locks do get a little sticky at the beginning uh, because they're pressed in pretty good. Oh, you just bought one? Okay, perfect, perfect. Oh, yeah, one minute. Yeah, you got the holographic one. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Mikey, we, we missed you, buddy. That's, that's all it comes down to. You know this community. You know we're pretty pretty good. We we like supporting each other. And when when we don't see people out there, it's like, oh man, what's up, Lacey? How are you? Yeah, the DSKFS sticker and the holographic one is pretty cool. So you can see just a little bit of the movement of the light. You get so many different colors. It's pretty awesome. So, and like I said, I can't wait for the patches to be here. Now the only cool part about if you can call it cool, but I guess it's cool. The only cool part about them messing up my order and losing it with that whole FedEx delivery thing was um, I get a little bit of extra patches made on my, on my rerun. And I'm kind of hoping it'd be kind of cool if like all of a sudden they got the other one, like FedEx found the other part of it. And then I get like a whole bunch of patches. So that would be really cool because nobody else needs that patch, but us, right? I mean, it's kind of the, the little slogan, you know, do something kind for someone. It's just here. We're going to spread it everywhere. Yeah, Paul, I can give you some details for sure, man. Just send me a message. Yeah, definitely. Got your Texel, SOG keychain knife, OG Leatherman, Leatherman Squirt PS4. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, exactly, Mikey. Okay, so we got some stuff out there. Uh, we can probably find something else, too. I think Big Red has a sticker or two out there. Let me see if we got... What do we got in here for Big Red? Yeah, we got a big red sticker. We can throw a big red sticker in there as well. Got that. He he gave me a couple extra ones last time he was down. We did our little trip with uh, out to Benchman. They bought some knives, and Justin from OCD for EDC was down here a couple weeks ago. That was fun. But I found something today when I was when I was looking through all the stuff I have in my box here. Yeah, Mark, we need we need to make it worldwide for sure. Definitely <laughs> patches of Julian. <laughs> Oh, hula hand. <laughs> um, so I, I, I got this really, really cool key bar. And it was basically provided. And I think you guys will love it. So I want to I wanna give this out to somebody. Sons of Zachary sticker. Yeah, we can do all sorts of stuff. But you guys, hopefully you're aware of key bar. Made in Savannah, Georgia little box looks familiar like those little mint tins but this one's terrific and this one is it's got there oh, i have it upside down so it's got the flag it's also got key bar kind of etched into the this is like a g10 piece right here so it's got the flag on there and then of course you got i think this is the declaration of independence one isn't it let me look and see really quick if they have it on there. But I think this one's the Declaration of Independence one. And I think it's pretty cool. You can put your keys in there. 
They have so many upgrades as well that you guys can do. Um, but yeah, let me double check. This is the preamble one. I'll have to find out. I'll put that in there. I'll I'll put I'll print it out and put it in there, or at least write it down for whoever wins it because it's pretty awesome. The preamble, yeah, that's what I, th I thought it was one of the two. I was trying to read it, let you guys see what's what's actually etched into the scale on that one. Oh, it's the it's the okay, it's the two A. Okay, perfect. Yeah, they do have some uh, aftermarket. They have blades you can put in here and stuff. They have little thing. I mean, they have all sorts of little things you can add in here with your keys. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you guys. So we're gonna give with the swag pack and this key bar away. It's also got these extra screws. It's the two A one. Okay, okay, perfect. Um, so that's one of those that. You can expand it even further if you want it wider. I like it. So thank you so much. This is one of those that I wanted to totally just give back to you guys. That's what we do. Hold on. I'm going to cough real quick. <coughs> um, let's see here. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, that was for Jason. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do a giveaway. Um, if you've been here, you're going to kind of know how we're going to do it. I'm basically going to give you a, a number spread. I'm going to say, Hey, between this number and this number, um, guess one number, one guess only those kind of things. Any Zach stuff band-aids? <laughs> no, I don't have any Zach stuff band-aids. I do have a regular band-aid. If you want a regular band-aid, I might have... Hold on. You guys are making me look now. I know I do have. You guys are going to probably want to see it though. Hold on. Let me see if I got. We might have a Benchmade Band-Aid. Hold on. Let me let me check. It's going to get dangerous for a second. I got to move a couple of piles of things. <laughs> you guys will be like, come on, where's the Benchmade Band-Aid? I hope I can find it now that I mentioned it. Is that them? No. Nope. Well, shiver me timber. Okay, if I can find it, I'll include it. If not, I'll get one. But they do make a Benchmade Band-Aid. They did a long time ago. I was able to snag a few of those. Is it in here? I'm trying to remember where I put it. Because I just had a couple of them. Darn it. Okay. Well, we'll get a Benchmade Band-Aid for you guys. Whoever wins this, I'll, I'll go through and find it. But it's it makes for, like, bad live video stuff when you're, like, trying to find things too much. So, <laughs> um, Aussie stock? You need more Aussie stock, No Mojo? No more international one? Okay, so we're going to do a giveaway. It's going to be a numbers guess. Don't guess until you see a start on the screen. I'll post that up in just a minute. Um, the number spread, I'll give you that in just a minute also. And then basically, we have stitches too. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and guess a number. And it'll be one guess only. It'll be closest without going over. And my screen will be the final screen. So... And if two people are, you know, have the same guess and it's the closest or they guess it right on or whatever, then we'll do a second round just with those people. So, yeah, so we'll do that. That's good stuff. <laughs> no, no Zach stuff band-aids yet, but it sounds like we may have to make some. I'll have to find out where we can custom order some band-aids from. That'd be kind of cool, actually. Or maybe like a DSKFS uh band-aid along with the zach stuff band-aid that'd be sweet and people be like well, dsk if it's like do something kind for someone even though i cut my finger <laughs> um oh they're sold out everywhere huh 
Oh, no, that's a bummer, No Mojo. Yeah, we'll have to check that one out for sure. Definitely have to check that one out for you, international-wise. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to set up the number spread. I'm going to write this stuff down real quick. And then we'll go ahead and let you guys figure it out. Guess which one is good. Um, let's see here. Oh, really, Mikey? Okay, I'll have to check on that. Do, do, do. That one. Okay, so I got it written down on this piece of paper. I'm going to put that piece of paper out on the table so you guys can see it. Or at least see the paper, not the number, hopefully. We're going to put it underneath the key bar, keep it nice and safe. As long as it doesn't move the key bar too much. It's a powerful paper. Where's Hollywood? It's in California. <laughs> Sorry, I had to, Mike. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, I got gotcha. you. I'm picking up what you're putting down, I got gotcha. you. Oh, yeah, exactly. No, that's funny, Lacey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's up? All right. Um, Mike Williams. I haven't seen Hollywood on here. 